Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away! If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Themos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm really sorry, Alithia. For everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that, that I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter, more in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. enough no need to shout this isn't your domain brother hey this has nothing left to offer you 
You are never meant to stay here. Nor Elysium. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone, no Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Stuff, is a place at my side. Join me as my Ligastis. Welcome home. This is the real Atlantis. I mean, it's intact. I, th I thought the city was destroyed. Every seven years, our great city begins a new cycle. If judged to be imperfect. And who's the judge? Before your arrival, it was my decision alone. Now that I have you at my side, I intend for this cycle to last an eternity. If you're the Dicastis Vasilevs, you expect me to be... Dicastis, the judge. Be my hand in laying and enforcing judgment in Atlantis. Well, I must warn you that I'm not always right. I was both surprised and encouraged by your actions in the underworld. Fortunes were exchanged in response to your choices. But trust that I learned your reverence to justice is true. Hades must have told you about my staff. He didn't have to. As is the way with all heroes, your journey has become the staff of Atlantean legend. Then you know my staff is the reason I'm here. I need to learn how to master it. This land is a paradise of power for those with Isu devices. But all in good time. So you expect me to live among you? A home among gods? Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my staff, Pythagoras, and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No, your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis? We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. It's an honor. Where do I start? Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. 
Ah, no. It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now, but it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the stuff? That and more. Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think, but they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you'll find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do. Understand through technical means. No, I've got this. Stay out of it. Strange, but it feels like the stuff is becoming a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom. Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here in the Castilles. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Castis, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. His Eminence? This place is more kings than Sparta.
You've arrived! I'm honored that the Castis would accept my humble request. Ah. You're Atlas, I take it. In the flesh. I thank you for coming to see me. I'm sure you're very busy. The burden my father gave you is not a light one. Your messenger told me it was urgent. Gravely urgent, indeed. Well, here I am. It's my brothers, the Archons. They have issues with the human populations under their control. Tensions between Isu and humans are mounting. Without order, the problems will grow severe. I'll try and use my position to help them where I can. Find Hadiros, Amphiris, and Azeas. Through your shining example, I hope they learn the valuable lessons in discipline they so desperately need. And if I help them, you're hoping it'll maintain the peace between Isu and humans. That's the plan. Poseidon should have known they weren't ready for the responsibility an Archon bears. But that's his failing. Tell me about Gaviros. You'll find him near the arena, hard at work planning his next exhilarating spectacle, I'm sure. What should I know about Amphiris? He's probably off terrorizing people near the fortified Doma of Ochtonos. Make sure you don't sneak up on him. He's quite jumpy. What should I know? He's probably off terrorite. What about Azais? Who is he? You'll find dear Azais wherever there is humanitarian work to be done. I heard there were some issues near the Doma of Amphiris. We have Archons where I'm from. Do they fulfill the same duties? They are charged with overseeing and ruling the humans of Atlantis. Ensuring all live comfortably and peacefully, a job at which I fear they're failing. There always seems to be unrest between the two races. The Underworld and Elysium were no different. Time passes and tensions keep building. I expected my father to handle it. But Atlantis grows steadily worse, and no one wants to see what could happen if precautions are not taken. I'll find the Archons, and make sure their problems are taken care of.
Is Azais a physician and an Archon? What have I missed? What must I do? Azais? You have your hands full. Vigastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. When did you first notice people were getting sick? At the start of this cycle. It began quite slowly, and I didn't think much of it. But then the cases grew rapidly, day by day. The more that fell sick, the faster the pathogen spread. You seem really worried. Have you ever seen a sickness like this before? No. There are many odd phenomena during this cycle. Plant dying, strange insects, and animal attacks. I worry about what this could signify. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. Its intention was to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase. And it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. The device as ice ones must be inside. Oh! 
This metal is heavy. And here's a note. A forge of Atlantis. This can be used to create weapons. I have to find this place. Glowing cloth is going to heal the sick. I hope Azais is right. I've brought the, uh, glowing cloth you've asked for. It's a nanotech matter regenerator, in fact. But you have it. I can't believe it. Now then, let's see what this thing can do. What the fuck did you do? I thought I had calibrated correctly. Oh no, what have I done? I killed this poor human. The device doesn't work and you stole it against Poseidon's laws. What do we do now? This device is your only chance of stopping the sickness. You need to keep trying. Yes, you're right. Not trying will just mean more innocent lives are lost. I think if I make some adjustments, I can get it to function on humans correctly. Everyone seems to be looking much better. Well, almost everyone. The device still needs work, but it has incredible potential. Poseidon won't be happy that we broke his law, but I'm glad you were the one to do it and not me. In any case, I'm eternally grateful for your help. Thank you. <laughs> 